Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you all so much for joining us today for this live stream event. My name is Alexia, and I am the program manager of the Microsoft Reactor Toronto. I will be sharing session resources with you in the chat. But before we begin, I'd let, I would like to quickly review two items, our code of conduct and event guidelines. First, please take a moment to review our code of conduct. Microsoft Reactor seeks to provide a respectful environment for both our audience and presenters. We encourage engagement in the chat, but please be mindful of your commentary, remain professional and on topic. And secondly, our event guidelines. The session is being recorded and will be available on demand through the Microsoft Reactor YouTube channel in about 24 to 48 hours. I will be sharing the link in the chat for our channel. And if you have not been on a live stream through YouTube before, please note that you must create an account on YouTube in order to access or interact in the chat. You can set that up now. And if you're unable to use the chat but have questions, feel free to reach out to us through social media or on our website. Which brings us to today's session. Today is day two of the Building Intelligent.net apps with Azure OpenAI. I'm going to bring in our speakers here for today, Luis and Pablo. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Hello, hello Alexia. Thank you very much. Hello, Pablito. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm happy to be here. Uh, and you, Luis? Yes, I'm also fine. Thank you very much. It's uh, awesome that uh, we already have some uh, audience in the in the chat. Thank you very much for joining. Let us know uh, where are you joining from. Is it uh, early? Is it uh, late for you? Uh, we are uh, happy to to see you here for uh, week two of this uh, series, building intelligent .NET apps with Azure OpenAI. So last week we have uh, Daniel and he uh, gave an introduction about this uh, technology and how it can help us to uh, be more productive, but also uh, to, to create uh, some applications. And well, Pablo will also talk uh, uh, about this, this topic. Uh, so uh, Pablo, can you, uh, let's say, introduce yourself, talk a bit about you, what do you do? Yeah, what yes, do well. Hello, everyone. I am Pablo Piovano, a Microsoft MVP. Uh, I work as a Microsoft consultant and specialized in artificial intelligence. Lately, I have been deeply involved in several projects with Power Platform. Uh, outside of the professional realm, I am proof father of two wonderful daughters. I am trying to be here, and it's a pleasure to share this moment with all of you. Awesome. So I uh, invite everyone in the chat to uh, participate, uh, ask your questions, and uh, Pablo will help us to, to answer uh, them. Uh, would you prefer questions uh, at the end or while you are presenting? Oh, at the end, it's OK. Yeah. Okay, we have perfect. show different demos. And, well, yeah. In the, yeah, the yeah, end, it's, it's work for me. Yes, this session is mostly aimed for developers, so expect a lot of uh, code, uh, demos, but of course, uh, other areas are, are welcome. So, uh, Pablo, if you want, you can uh, start with your presentation. Uh, let me know if you need anything from me, and I will be happy to, to, to help you or to assist you, okay? Yeah, thanks, thanks, Luis. Okay. Uh, well, perfect. Uh, I am going to start with a review of some concept that Daniel probably explained it to you last week. Uh, but uh, let's identify where OpenAI models fit into the AI landscape. We have different sets. First, artificial intelligence that is imitates human behavior by relieving on machine to learn and execute tasks without explicit directions on what to output, yeah? Uh, then we have machine learning models take in data like weather condition and fit the data to an algorithm uh, to make prediction like how much money or a store might make in a given day. Then we have uh, the learning 
uh, models use uh, layers of algorithms in the form of artificial neural networks to return results for more complex use cases. Uh, well, here we are here because the generative AI is, uh, is modeled uh, are a subset of deep learning models that can produce new content uh, based on what is described in the input. The OpenAI models are a collection of generative AI models that can produce language, code, and image. In today, I will show some demos that uh, to, to do that. Well, uh, Microsoft and OpenAI have a partnership, multi-billion dollar invest to accelerate AI innovation, uh, ongoing sign 2019. Uh, Microsoft deployed OpenAI's models across uh, consumer and enterprise products, which includes uh, Azure OpenAI services. We have different models. Um, let me... We have different models, uh, GPT-3, GPT-3.5, and GPT-4 now. Uh, can, this model can understand and generate text, providing a prompt. This model will generate an answer with natural language. Um, I think image input coming in the near future. Uh, OpenAI with the mobile application in ChatGPT, you can do that. Uh, ChatGPT uh, interacts in a conversational way. Uh, conversations allow for follow-up questions that uh, hold context. Uh, Codex, uh, Codex translate natural language to code. Um, Power GitHub Copilot, uh, provision in a dozen programming language, uh, descent of GPT free model. Uh, well, we have DALI that create original and realistic art from a text description. And the last and the new one uh, is Whisper, uh, a model that can convert audio into text. Um, well, why there are, are countless application OpenAI models like GPT can be used for, I will say a few examples like create a chatbot to answer question about your business, uh, categorize the sentiment of a product review, extract keyword and entities from a document, translate text from one language to another, uh, generate image for blog posts and much more. Well, uh, I want to show some demos. Let me switch. Uh, well, first uh, we have a um, console app in .NET. Um, um, the first things. Uh, you need to do install the Nagit packages. Azure AI, uh, let me check here. Mm. This, you need to install this uh, packaging, yes. This is the, the, the last version, 1.00 beta 8. Uh, remember, is uh, beta, uh, uh, beta uh, um, nagish package. Um, when you you install this this package, you you can use uh, SDK. You you have different way to use this service. You have you you, you can use um, API REST, yes, or in this case, install the SDK that uh, is, for me, is the best way. If you use .NET uh, or Python, because the, the, this, this uh, SDK resolves 
a, a lot issues or no issues is it's more easy to use these services that if you call the API uh, easily. Um, well, this is a, a simple application. Uh, then create a, a, a open EI uh, uh, client object by passing in the URL of your resource and the secret key. Yeah. Uh, in my case, uh, I use in um, environment variables. Yes, here I use environment variables uh, that uh, use, for example, uh, the the key, the the name of, of the model, and the endpoint. Yes, the, we need this free uh, the free um, data uh, for 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 our code. Um, well, um, we, we, we can create a, a chat completion uh, option object. Uh, this option will determine how the model operate. Yes. Here is the, um, the, the, the message, um, the message option where you must provide um, at least one system message that uh, guides the language model and the kind of content you want it uh, to respond to. In this case, we keep a uh, generic. Uh, you are an AI assistant that help people find information. And then we have uh, parameters like uh, max tokens, temperature, nucleus sampling factor, frequently penalty, and present penalty. Control the response you get. Uh, for instance, temperature introduce randomness into the response, while nucleus sampling factor influences their creativity. Um, when we understand this option, we can enter a loop where we receive user input and send it to the chat model. If the user type uh, quite, yeah, um, the program will stop. Uh, after receiving the input, we add it uh, to the message list and then retrieve the model's response. Um, to get the response, and we call the get chat completion async uh, method and await its reply. This response may contain more than one message, uh, so it's essentially to handle it uh, appropriately. Well, let me let me start this project. And while it is starting, I might add that uh, these uh, parameters you already mentioned about temperature. Yeah. Uh, if you set a value of zero, the responses would be less, let's say, creative, uh, like uh, very, very uh, static. But uh, if you use a value uh, higher, let's say closer to one, uh, you add randomness. And yes, it is great also to see about the role. It gives some context. It gives some, let's say, uh, it sets the behavior of the uh, open AI, let's say, uh, generative uh, responses. So yeah, it is great that we can see some information there. OK, thank you. Well, uh, I, in the chat prong, I, 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 I put, tell me about Microsoft Reactor. Um, well. Uh, the response is Microsoft Reactor is a global program launched by Microsoft to support developers and um, their communities. Um, well, um, the, this, 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 this uh, console app use, uh, I don't remember, let me check which model, but I think it's a... Uh, uh, Da Vinci, maybe, or GPT? Yeah, let me enter or... in my tenant. 
Oracle Azure. Mm. Azure yes, the model is important in let's yeah, say, of course. from different perspectives, right? Of course, this is a different subscription. I have this subscription. Yes, the, 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 depending on the model, you can get uh, either more precise uh, responses or uh, also the cost is uh, affected. Yes, there are exactly. some models which uh, require, let's say, more uh, computational power, so they will be uh, more expensive. Uh, so it is also good like to balance between a model and also a parameters of course in the end you want more precision you want to uh, get uh, or the users expect let's say a suitable uh, response so it's like uh, when you develop some application you need to test what you are doing so you can uh, test uh, one model, get some feedback from users. If uh, you need to adjust, you can switch to another model, but also consider uh, the cost of your application. Of course, okay, so yes. Which model were you using? Yeah, yes, uh, we use uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. Um, well, um, it's not GPT 4, it's not Text Da Vinci, but um, we have several models that we can use. Um, in this case, uh, well, I use this model to in, in this console application. Um, well, I think Daniel explained last week this portal and I go to the next demo. Um, but well, we have the, the response here, yeah? Uh, in super easy in the console application. But uh, I want to show you another option that um, we can use uh, Azure um, OpenAI in this case, in this in this case in net environment. Uh, here in in my visual code um, I use a, a extension polygot notebooks. Yes. Uh, it's an extension for Visual Studio Code and it's a great tool for teaching uh, or learning a new programming language and quit prototyping. Yeah. Um, now with this uh, extension, we can use uh, notebooks in C sharp, F sharp, PowerShell, uh, well, SQL. Um, also, you we, we can use Python and R too, but it's in preview. But uh, we have the possibility to use different uh, language, different code uh, in in the same notebook. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we have an example to extract keywords. Yes, uh, let me, yeah, extract keyword. Um, let me clear all outputs. Well, uh, first we need to install the the, the the package. In this case, the the our package, the OpenAI. Yes, and beta a, and then using the system and the Azure AI OpenAI. Uh, then we need to set the, our keys, yes? The endpoint, the key, and the, 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 the model ID. Um, and in, the, in this example, uh, I, I, in all the sample, I, I need to give a prompt, yes? In this case, I use um, uh, a text, yes, uh, that talk about the Star Wars and um, well, have different uh, explanation about what is the Star Wars, the 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 movies and, and more. And um, the idea is extract 
different uh, keywords that in this text. And then I reconfigure the complexion option. This, uh, well, here the temperature uh, I, I use in 50%. Um, and well, this is more important, the completion. I, that in this case, in, in this part of code, uh, get the completion as seen and we have the response. The response is the different keyword. In this, ca in this case, it's Sean, Luke, Sean Lucas, uh, 2021 Century, Spay Opera, Visual Effects, Epic Spay Battles, Light Server Duels, uh, Planets, Species, Cultures, Shady, Seed, Force. Well, we, we have different um, keywords in, in this text. Um, another example, uh, that I want to show you um, is about, uh, okay, I have a, um, a, a, a piece of code. Uh, I need to explain what, what uh, this code does, yes? Um, this, this code, uh, yes, this is the link. Let me show you. This is a, a code that calculate vector similar, similarity. Yeah? This is the uh, the in the portal the Microsoft layer and explain what is cosine similarity that um, well the 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 calculate the cosine similarity between two vectors. Perfect. Uh, I put this this code. Yes. First we start. With, uh, let me check what's happened here. It's mm -hmm. uh, probably oh, uh, yes. you need to install this. Uh, yeah, or you need you think. Okay. <laughs> Let me okay. restart. Mm -hmm. Install packaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. perfect. So meanwhile, Polyglot is an extension for Visual Studio Code uh, that, uh, okay. as you can see, it gives you this uh, notebook uh, environment. You can test uh, C Sharp code, for example, or .NET code, and you can run several like cells as Pablo is doing. And uh, let's say it differs from the typical uh, program where everything, let's say, runs uh, like uh, uh, step by step or line by line. But in this case, you can, OK, I will just want to run this piece of code. Uh, and it keeps, let's say, the context. Uh, because if you declare some variable in one cell, it is still available in exactly. a later cell. So for example, in this case, uh, you have one cell where you uh, like install NuGet packages or add the using uh, libraries or namespaces. Then in other one, you, uh, I don't know, create some variable or ask open ai to evaluate some some text and in this case you are asking it to explain some code yes exactly well this is the the link that um no sorry this is not sorry this is the the package uh, i let me find the let me quickly a brief explanation about uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the name interactivity and polyglot and notebooks, mm -hmm. a multiple programming language. Yeah, this is a, a brief explanation about how uh, notebooks or how polyglot do and the 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 station for Visual Code. And well, y you have possibility to you different example, yeah, the real example, and um, well, you can use mm -hmm. to connect with PDF, with WPF, Extension Lab, uh, well, we have different example codes, notebook, extension. Um, well, I don't know, Luis, if we are share this link, but... Uh, yes, you can share it in the internal chat, and Alexia will help us to uh, share it with the audience. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, go back to the uh -huh. 
our business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, here the response uh, explain what uh, the code does. Uh, this code calculates the cosine similarity between two vectors. It takes two float array as parameter and return a float value. Uh, In this case, give awesome. the explanation about what 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 this code does. Yeah, um, this is a, a good notion when similar with the compiler. Yeah, right. Um, but well, if you don't have the possibility to install uh, give uh, copilot in your either in your Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. Um, your Visual Studio, uh, well, you you have the possibility to to to, to ask use Asher. this technique exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, another option or a demo. So, so that means you can even create your own copilot, right? If you combine exactly. Azure Open, eh, you can. Create, yes. You yes. can give this option to your users, like okay, you can create very basic application. Uh, maybe some text area. Okay, here you can enter any code, uh, and then you get uh, explanation about it in another, let's say, some label. So yeah, you can create your own copilot with Open. Yeah, so that's pretty. Yeah, nice. and in, in in this in this case is uh, we, we we create a SQL system. Yeah, um, uh -huh. in. In this case, we use the system prom. Uh, well, remember, we, we have a, a, a system that the the, the system mes, uh, message provide the initial context and mm -hmm. uh, guidance for the model. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you it is provide the instruction and context the model can refer when generating a response. Um, the system, yes. That message contain the completion or response. Uh, well, the user that uh, <laughs> that the, the 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 these are the tags and the queries you uh, we you, you provide. Well, uh, let me let me clear all outputs. We have this piece of code. And in this case, well. The idea is uh, you are a virtual agent that help user write SQL query using table schemas provided by the user. And here, Microsoft SQL tables with their properties. Employee with this uh, field, department, and salary payment. Yeah. Uh, a query to list the name of the department which employed more than 10 employees in the last three months. Yeah. Well, start the completion option, the system, the user, and get chat completion as in. Five seconds. And here this SQL query to list the name of the department with the employee more than 10 employees in the last three months. Check, Luis, is correct this, <laughs> this uh, piece of yes. code. But sure. Can I you think, yeah. zoom it a bit? <laughs> yes, yes. OK, here the SQL for the query list of name, name of departments, which employees more than 10 employees. Select name from department. Uh -huh. OK, there is a join where, mm, more, OK, in the last three months, having yeah. counted. OK, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it's a great. pretty it's powerful. Great. Pretty we had powerful a virtual point. assistant in SQL. <laughs> OK, OK, um, so you, we can even use it, let's say, for students who want to uh, improve their skills uh, in different um, programming languages. But then it can also be applied to other let's say, uh, scenarios like, I don't know, maybe uh, someone who wants to, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, know how to drive or to get a driver's license. Uh, you can like set up some, some uh, 
uh, like questions and then uh, get some answers or some explanation about them. So yeah, the possibilities are uh, unlimited. Uh, well, the, the last example, I, I have a lot of example about this different notebook. Uh, and, and then I will share a link with you have, I don't know how many examples that you can use these services and different prompt and system prompt that you can use uh, in your application. But well, um, this is the last in the in the example in, in the notebook that uh, I need to uh, brainstorm the gener generate names uh, for a toy. <laughs> in this case, well, let me clear output. Let me. Step by step, you you can run all, but well, you are a virtual agent that help use user brainstorm product names. Yeah, um, I give a, a some prompt. Yeah, that they give a description, an action toy that merge character from Star Wars and Marvel, allowing for an epic battle between the universe. Uh, the seed world. For example, the galactic here, fusion, and product name. I give some example that I don't know is good or bad, but well. And I want to show the completion and check. Great suggestion. Here a few more: Marvel World Fusion, Galactic Hero Class. Heroic Interfusion, Star Burst Brawl, Fusion for Battles. Well, they give some different uh, names uh, for a toy uh, when you need help to create something and you have different uh, isolated words. Uh, maybe, well, you have possibility to, to create uh, a, new, a new name for a product, uh, in this case, a, to a, a, a toys, but a product, a uh, 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 app name, for example, when you create uh, your, your app is difficult, which name use for this app? Uh, well, maybe you have a description that the, the behavior that your app and then uh, use this example for create a, a different name for, for your app. Well, uh, I have a lot, a lot, um, a lot notebook with different example. But well, uh, let me find. Well, I so as you can the, see, it can help lane, you yeah. to boost your uh, creativity, and it exactly. can also help people from marketing or even us when we create or develop our super awesome application we like spend some spend like some months let's say developing but now we have a new task what will be the name of our application because that's also important maybe we are publishing to uh, the app store or apple let's say uh, store but we want some interesting name so yeah we can ask this technology to to help us find some engaging uh, interesting name for for our application okay that's pretty nice yeah well uh, another demo is we, we have a blazor application yes um here well it's a simple simple uh uh, application, but um, the idea is create a, a compiler or a chat GPT in a Blazor application. But the different, we have a system message that, uh, that, that, that say, welcome the, into the world of the similar with me. In your question, is it about movies? Uh, for anything other than cinema, I respond with, I can only answer question about cinema. Yeah, in this example, only a specific uh, a domain that the the bot or the virtual assistant uh, give our response. Um, well, this goal is 
is symbolize uh, the the first uh, we need to the the the, the get re re response. Um, uh, of course, you we we can in 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 every in every project we need the different key the 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 endpoint the key and and the model too. Um, here set the different option temperature mac tokens what they explained before um and well is let me this is the the ui the razor code is super super easy is uh, only five controls and that's it let me give play or we really started. Where is here? Well, we have a blank sort of pilot. <laughs> um, well, only the 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 this assistant answer question about movies. Yeah. Well, I have different question for example where was the lord of rain filmed for example uh, let me check the lord of rain trilogy was primarily filming in the new zealand yeah um i don't know for example uh, yeah this this another question can you list some iconic romantic comedies I don't like romantic comedy, but well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I will answer. Well, we have I don't know. Ah, Notting Hill, yes, it's, it's a it's a famous movie. Well, the response is a uh, a uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, uh, ten, ten, ten uh, romantic comedies. Yeah, but for example, if I use this question. What's happened? Would would you tell me how to prepare a taco? I can only answer a question about cinema. Yeah, this is this virtual assistant is only for respond um, uh, this type of question. But let me change that. Um, that uh, what's happened now <laughs> I can suggest searching and first but if we come uh, welcome the world of the food, for example. Food. Your question is about uh, food. Let's see. Now I change the system message and what's happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we get how to do it. <laughs> exactly. When you modify the system message and you remember the system message, is, you give the context uh, uh, or uh, what is you and shouldn't answer, for example, uh, and you can set the format response to, I don't know, you give the response in a table, for example. Uh, but well, the, this is the, 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 the idea to show you uh, different 
parameters, yes, a uh, 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 what is the system role, the system role, the user role, and um, well, uh, chain only the system role and your virtual assist uh, chain the target. <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. Um, As we can see, it is not only about sending a basic request to open AI, uh, let's say models like, okay, prepare some text and then get a response. I mean, that's the basic usage, but setting up the role, uh, how to respond if the question is out of the scope that we are like aiming for this uh, technology, that help us to, to, to be prepared to, uh, let's say some edge cases, or also, let's say, some users who just want to test uh, this, uh, let's say, uh, the intelligence, but out, again, uh, of uh, the intended uh, use. And there is a question from C Sharp, and now that we are talking about this application, uh, he asks, are you appending the previous uh, messages or responses to the context of each new uh, request? Uh, here, I do remember in the code, do that, uh, but let me check. Mm -hmm. let yes, me because check. in the first uh, time that you uh, evaluated, yeah, you showed the full conversation. Exactly. Uh, probably, it, oh, yeah, it is adding, so it, it yes. seems that it is like a list, and then uh, it is bound to some, I don't know, uh, collection control, and it just uh, uh, when it gets uh, like a new message, it just send it uh, there. So probably no, no appending, but bound to some collection. Exactly, exactly. But when well, you have different techniques, for example, you have all data. Uh, for example, PDF file. Well, you chunk this PDF and say in a blog storage, for example, and then use Azure Connecty Search to index this information. And then you have the possibility to save the history in different sessions. But here, uh, only save the this session. Let me check. For example. Uh, let, me, let me check. <laughs> yeah, in this case, y use the 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 constant in the, the the context in this session yes because mm -hmm. if uh, tell me the year uh, obviously the the model no okay this is above the lord of the rings yeah but if because we 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 pass off the 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 conversation to the model again yeah but in another example, I in for example in the console app, I think uh, only pass the the last uh, message. And if I ask, uh, tell me the year, maybe the we'll virtual know. exactly. We don't know or give me more context because I need more context to respond that. Yeah, it's a different conversation each time in exactly. the other application. And this one. It is the same one, so yeah. Well, let me move. Oh, on the other hand, yeah, F Sharp also mentions that uh, uh, it is also important to consider the total length of the request uh, because, okay. of course, uh, it involves tokens, uh, and adding the whole history might not be feasible. Yes. Yes, well, yeah. Depend the models, the, the the cost, and the yeah. money. Uh, well, in this case, 
uh, we said uh, uh, 600 uh, max token, but well, um, if we see the models uh, here, let me, where is the token here? The limit, yes. No, this is the token per minute, but where is the max token that for request? I don't remember where is this information, but in the, in the, documentation. In the documentation, yeah, exactly. Mm, well, here. There, yes. Exactly. Well, depend the the base model ratio too is important. Um, well, we have max token, yes, and training data. In this case, September twenty twenty one. But we have a GPT four uh, two option. The with this amount token and with a lot of token. <laughs> uh, but well. And the end of the day, uh, you pay the the, the invoice. <laughs> yes, for what you use, of course. Uh, exactly. Of course. Well, uh, this is the, the last demo. It's a, um, a NetMagui application. It's your application, Luis. <laughs> okay. Thanks for, for sharing with me. Um, well, in all demos, we use uh, the SDK, yeah? Um, but in this demo, you can chat or create image. And in this case, uh, we will use the create image, yes? This this part of code that, um, let me, Let me put here. And well, we have the image generation option that uh, we, we, we pass the prompt that what need uh, or, or, or we want the, the image description and the image size. Obviously, we have different size. Uh, the cost mm -hmm. is... Uh, Important too. Yes, it's also important to mention that depending on the size of the image that is being generated, uh, this will also incur in some cost. Uh, the larger the image, uh, more expensive it will be. Exactly, exactly. Well, in this case, we we use this <laughs> this size. Um, well, um, let me copy this. Uh, is prompt that by there having okay. a beer okay enjoy <laughs> <laughs> cheers enjoy that right there. um boom we have the <laughs> okay yeah it's nice, excellent nice. this is a uh, dali chu right or yes. dali chu yeah well now we can use dali free in ima in being image creator that obviously is a, a better model than two. But well, now we, we have the option to to use DALI2. For now, I think in the next uh, month, we have the possibility to use uh, DALI3 too. Um, well, uh, let me put another prompt. Meeting between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker on a spaceship. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, it's a, a toys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But if you now, uh, you can then... actually also set the style, the draw style, uh, like exactly. 3D model or, I don't know, 
Picasso style or whatever. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You you give the style and uh, for example, you give a, a drawing and it's a a, a drawing or a hand uh, uh, yeah, creator. Yeah, well, no. mm -hmm. But well, excellent. Uh, we we can create a virtualization uh, for explain code. Uh, maybe for, for create code in SQL, uh, explain code in C Sharp. Uh, we create a demo to explain food or movies, uh, a virtualization, and now we can create image too. Uh, and well, it's, it's excellent, Luis. <laughs> yes, thank you, Paulo, for these uh, great uh, demos. So uh, if there are any questions from the audience, uh, let us know. Uh, well, uh, there were some questions from Fisher, which we already uh, answered. So we would be happy to, to, to answer others. But it is interesting, all the things that you can do with uh, these uh, uh, generative AI uh, technologies. So uh, there were also some comments that, uh, they were using OpenAI with uh, Python, for example. Uh, actually, Python is a great uh, combination. There are uh, some uh, libraries that you can uh, install to mm -hmm. access, let's say, or simplify the, the access to this uh, technology and implementation in applications. Now, in .NET, we have Nugget packages, which uh, it is important, uh, and you mentioned it, they are in beta. So uh, if uh, you are developing some application uh, and it is going for production, you can maybe consider, if you don't want to use a beta a Nougat package, you can always send a request, a rest, sorry, REST uh, request to the API. Just consider that there might be some differences usually if you go to the documentation, it's only about, OK, send, post a request, a get a request, and so. But, uh, and I was discussing this with Pablo uh, yesterday before preparing this uh, session, there might be some differences, and I can name one of them. <clears throat> For example, uh, when you generate an image, as you uh, mm -hmm. saw in the, in the, let's say, .NET uh, Nougat package, um, it's okay, just uh, use a generate image and await the, the call and that's it. You will get the, the image. However, in the if you use the REST API, actually you first need to uh, send a request, generate image. It will take some time and actually you might uh, see it or, or you might saw it in the, um, in, in the demo, it took some time to produce the image about uh, Darth Vader having a, a beer. Uh, but in the code, let's say if you go to or use the REST API, first you uh, request uh, this uh, generate image. Then you need to write down some code to ask if uh, the, the generation was uh, successful. Otherwise, you need to uh, keep waiting. So actually, you need several uh, calls, let's say, to the API to, to finally get your image. Because in the end, um, you can consider that <clears throat> there are a lot of like people, let's say, uh, uh, requesting, let's say, access to, to the service or maybe in your own service. So um, it might take some, some time to, to get your, your image. In the in the end. OK. And yes. OK, so actually, you also shared uh, ah, yes, some, some link about the samples. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Alexia, also for sharing. Thank you. Yes. Any final comments, Pablo? It has been a privilege to share this hour with you. Uh, Remember that technology is constantly evolving, and together we can harness its potential for a bigger future. 
Uh, um, well, it's awesome. excellent. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Pablo, for a great comment. There is a actually a comment from C Sharp. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, he says, I'm a great fan of C Sharp.net, and even when I also program in Python, mostly lately, indeed, it is beautiful to see, to be to see these interesting AI code examples in .NET. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Thank you, Fisher. It's, it's true. Yes. Um, thank you, Sano, also for the for for the um, comment. Uh, yeah. I, in my case, I think I got introduced to this uh, technology when I had to um, convert some Java code into Python for some uh, experiment. Uh, one friend, let's say, at the university uh, was already using this technology to to uh, explain some neural network code or also to answer questions. We also had fun uh, creating some like uh, music, let's say, or some songs <laughs> about about countries, about whatever. But yeah, it is a great tool for uh, productivity. So. Yeah, th thank you, Fisher, for for you. your comments as well. So, okay, we we appreciate everyone for joining us today. Don't forget to 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 answer the survey. It will help us for uh, delivering, uh, let's say, uh, better sessions. Uh, also next next time, uh, next week, join us uh, also on Thursday at uh, this time. Well, one hour, of course. Uh, we will have uh, Umberto Jaimes and also, um, sorry, <clears throat> uh, Dr. Rudo Sequel, <laughs> our, our <laughs> good, good friend, um, uh, because uh, they will talk about uh, prompt engineering, about also uh, getting your own data into Azure OpenAI. So it will be a lot of uh, fun. So. Yeah, be be prepared to also see great demos from from our friends. So uh, our regards to uh, Humberto and also Dr. Rudo Sigbert. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pablito, for this great session and enjoy the, the rest of the day. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Take care and thank you very much for you and the audience. Um, thank you. OK, so uh, with that, we I think we are all set. So thank you very much. And join uh, our community at Microsoft Reactor. And uh, we hope to see you next next time. So oh, gracias. <laughs> gracias, Sano. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your comments. So see you next time. <laughs>